Lint, other than its generally recognizable smell, can be identified by its purple square stem and its slightly rumply leaves. Upon closer inspection, the edges of the leaves are actually serrated, not smoothly curved. Propagated easily in water, roots can be seen under the leaves in varying stages, based on their growth. These will root into the ground in order to spread the mint patch. They can be seen here as nearly sprouted, normal and mature. Mint is known to treat a variety of common issues such as yellow teeth, indigestion, flatulence, diarrhea, colds, influenza, fever, menstrual pain and a loss of voice. More severe conditions such as a clogged, pain gallbladder, gallstones, worms, hemorrhoids, jaundice, respiratory tract inflammation and high blood pressure are also known to be alleviated in varying degrees with the ingestion of boiled mint. Basil is very similar to mint. The biggest differences lay in the smoothness of basil's leaves in contrast to mint. Its leaves edges are not serrated and while aromatic like mint, the aroma is distinct and generally recognizable as well, especially if rubbed. White flowers like so can also help identify a patch of basil in bloom. Basil, or Ocinum basilica, is able to treat a wide array of medical troubles, ranging from a loss of appetite, coughs and colds, headaches and flatulence to inflammation, decreasing excess weight and diabetes. Antioxidants have shown to be abundant with the ingestion of basil. Perhaps most unique is the plant's antibacterial properties. The effects of arthritis and irritable bowel syndrome can also be lessened with the use of basil. Whiteleaf savory, or otherwise known as Nicomea fruticosa, has much smaller leaves than basil or mint. With fine white hairs covering the square stem and leaves, a velvety look and feel can be observed and felt. An aroma not unlike mint, but a tinge more medicinal, can be induced when rubbed. Whiteleaf savory is best effective when boiled in hot water for 15 minutes. It has been noted that respiratory system issues, such as a persistent cough or shortness of breath, can be remedied in addition to urinary system infections of the urinary tract and the kidneys. Furthermore, headaches, diabetes and memory loss can all be lessened when using white leaf savory as a treatment. Fuzzy, rumply leaves characterize the plant sage while the white trichome help give it its slight gray tint. The hairs cover the entirety of the plant, from the front and the back side of its highly variant in shape and size leaves and its square stem. The sage usually grows as a shrub, growing from thicker woody branches below. From where the plant was picked, two stems will grow, resulting in an increasingly bushier plant. The light purple flowers and dark purple buds can also help identify a sage plant. Salvia officinalis, or popularly known as sage, can also help cure general medical complications, also covered by prior plants, such as stomach pains, vomiting, ulcers, diarrhea, flatulence, coughs, colds, influenza, sore throats and headaches. However, more specifically, irritable bowel syndrome, jaundice, food poisoning, nasal congestion, prostate and lung infections and fungal diseases can be diminished with this plant. Most especially as a paste, burns and wounds can subside by using sage. Radda is covered in small hairs, known as trichome. The leaves are small, yet curved and elongated in comparison to the other plants covered. The edges of the leaves are especially ridged and rumpled. With an opposite leaf structure, the square stem is not as pronounced, but definitely not round. Prepared also as a hot tea, Teocrum capitatum is perhaps the plant most exclusive to the Palestinian region. Known by locals as Jadda, it is said to remedy digestive system irritations such as diarrhea, indigestion, dysentery, stomach pain, food poisoning, ulcers and an acidic stomach. It can additionally help heal general inflammation, throat inflammation, high blood pressure, menstrual cramps, excessive sweating, diabetes, kidney stones, hemorrhoids and urinary tract infections. When applied as paste, eczema, insect bites, bee and wasp stings, mosquito stings and scorpion bites can be reduced.
Origanum syriacum has unique small leaves which have very apparent veins that go across them. The plant is also covered in trichum which help prevent it from drying out in the arid climate it grows in. Aromatic as well, the smell can be strong and mistaken for oregano. For many Palestinians, zata is a ubiquitous spice for any mealtime. However, medicinally, origanum syriacum can be used to help digestive system difficulties such as stomach gases and pains, constipation, and ulcers. The respiratory system is also heavily aided by zata when it comes to lung inflammation, shortness of breath, a sore throat, persistent coughs, colds and chest pains. Moreover, zata can be used to relieve headaches, high fever, urinary tract infections, memory loss, menstrual cramps, muscle spasms and rheumatism, otherwise known as arthritis in the joints.